Good morning guys from the Yard Hot Springs off the Alaska Highway in British Columbia. Uh, I lied to you, last night we didn't go into the hot springs, it just never cooled down enough. It was so hot that I had to cut the sleeves off a, uh, another one of my t-shirts. But hey, it's better than throwing them away, it's like giving them a second life. So uh, yeah, we're here this morning, it's probably about 62 degrees, so a little on the warm side. But it's going to get up to the 80s today and we wanted to make sure to uh, check out the hot springs before everything heats up. This boardwalk through the marshlands is pretty awesome. You can almost always see waterfowl or something out here. Okay, so here are the hot springs. And what you need to uh, remember when visiting hot springs is there's always going to be a hotter end where the uh, water comes in from the spring itself. And then there's always going to be a cooler end where the uh, water leaves the pool. All right, so we're going to go relax and we will see you on the road. guys we initially thought we might be camping in a pullout tonight but we're coming into Whitehorse and quickly running out of steam the dogs are getting anxious I'm getting tired back is starting to hurt so since we're here in Whitehorse and there's a Walmart just a matter of a few miles away we're gonna head on over and I think you guys might find this Walmart interesting because it has a reputation for having a wide variety of RV campers so let's see if it uh, stands up to its reputation and it looks like the Whitehorse Walmart is not gonna disappoint <laughs> You know the Walmart ethical code? Yeah, no jacks. There's a spot right at the end, man. 
Oh, no, there's somebody there. Alright guys, uh, we are settled in and I think today's total was roughly about 400 miles. I uh, got some really fun people from New Zealand in front of us and he says he's going to uh, import or export, depending on which direction you're going, this uh, 1998 Vectra to New Zealand and it will sell for like $150,000. Like that's a 98. And yeah, it's got some wear on it, just like any 98 should if it's been used, but 150,000. So I found that awfully interesting. Heck, I'm thinking import export business for uh, old class A motorhomes. What do you guys think? All right, I know today's video wasn't much of a vlog, but it's real life and that's the way it goes. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you later.